what kind of value can the average guy offer if he wants to access the DJ booth? Yeah, so the 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 easiest ways to do this, we call it value arbitrage because they're free. Like arbitrage means it's like a risk-free exchange. The connector, the suggester, and the content creator. Those are kind of the best ways to do it. So the content creator is the guy who like takes really good photos or is constantly tagging the GM or the nightclub. When you walk up to a club, like for instance, I do this all, all the time. I'll tag the GM of a nightclub whenever I'm at the nightclub and I'm there with a bunch of girls and he'll see it and I never have to wait to get in line whenever I go back to that place. So that's the content creator. The suggester is another one where like whenever I, or, or the, the connector of the suggester, whenever I go to one of these events and like, I want to get near the DJ booth, I'm constantly going to be introducing the head of security to as many hot girls as possible and the GM to as many hot girls as possible. Con even if I don't barely know the hot girls, Con like every time he sees me, I'm introducing him to hot girls. And then the suggester is like things outside of there. It's like, oh man, you know what? That would probably work. I do this often when I meet photographers. I'm like, oh, have you ever tried this camera or this lens or whatever? Or you know what's really good is right after we go out of here across the street is Pepper Mill, man. They got the best pancakes, like middle of the night, blah, 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 whatever. Those things are free. Those are That's value anyone can add. The, but the connector, suggester, and content creator. Being the guy who takes the really good photos, like I said, there's a big group of you and you take really good photos, all the girls are going to want your IG. It's like, a, like, I've had guys do this before. They'll see me do interviews on the red carpet and they'll go up to the girl before. I was like, yeah, I took some BTS. Can I get your IG? And then they'll connect that way. And then they'll end up going out with the girl through that way uh, because the, the guy's sending her actual content. So those are all different ways that I've seen. Th those are the three easiest ways I've seen to offer value. Mm -hmm. I can really attest to that actually, because uh, years ago, uh, there, there's a club in London called Coco uh, in Camden, which is like the emo, goth kind of alternative town kind of place. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, it, it's a huge venue and they had, it's actually like a music venue, but they do club nights after the shows and whatever. Um, but I managed to connect to the guys running it um, initially uh, by reviewing their Facebook page or something. Uh, but after that, I was reintroduced to the guy and the the value offering I made, and now value arbitrage makes sense to me now that you mentioned it that way. Um, mm -hmm. I offered to bring in a camera guy, a videographer, and I don't pay for the videographer necessarily. I just had access to one through the network that I had and they don't pay for the videographer because for us, we're just okay with going in there VIP style, having fun. So it came at no cost to anyone. And that's yeah. the, the value triangle right there. I connected the two, yeah, you, I went in there and they, they gave us yeah. the only cost it had to them was they gave us two wristbands that they had anyway. And yeah. so, um, the reality is that we filmed for like, um, uh, a few minutes here and there and the rest of the night we were just making use of the vip state uh vip access on the stage and everything like that and everything was just super easy and they kept letting me in ever since yeah. and the more you do it the easier it gets the uh the thing is heterosexual men don't need anything from you there, there's no ulterior motive if you want normal dudes to do things with you or for you, you have to provide some kind of value. You have to solve some kind of problem for them. But like wealthy men, if you look at their friends, their friends are people who help solve problems with them, either together or, or you know, they just do business together, whatever. He sells this and he sells this, whatever. Um, that's the thing you have to understand when you, when you deal with these groups of men is that you need to provide some kind of value. And then when you do so, it gets progressively easier every time you get act. This is called access. You get more access uh, to the different locations because you do it over and over again. It gets progressively easier every time you do it. You have to do less. Now I just walk up to every club in Vegas and they don't even ask me a question. It doesn't matter if I have girls with me. They just let me in and let me on stage because I've been doing it for so long. The other concept is mere exposure. If you just keep doing it over and over again, it just gets easier. I can't tell me how many ho VIP hosts come up to me like, hey man, like your show. I have no idea what their names are. You know, it's like, but it gets, con it gets consi consistently easier the more you do it. Um, when you have that social proof. So yeah, that's, that's definitely a, a great way to do it. Mm -hmm.